tell our listeners okay. who you are. Just give us a like a little brief little introduction of a little trailer into Carlos King. Cause I don't think I don't think they know. I feel like they should, but okay, for those who don't, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you never want to assume, yes. right? Yes. So, I don't mind giving myself an introduction. So I'm Carlos King. I'm the owner of Kingdom Rank Entertainment, which is based in California. I am known widely for producing nine seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, I also am known for producing Hollywood Divas with my production company, um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, which is Karen's favorite show. You know my girl on there. <laughs> <laughs> Bell Collective. I work with Oprah, Love and Hip Hop, back in the day, day, day. And, you know, currently, you know, my company's producing this new show on BET called BET Presents the Encore, which gives former girl group members back together to form a super group. So that premieres Wednesday, June 9th, 10, 9 Central on BT, and we have 10 episodes. So I am considered the king of reality TV since I more than likely have produced your favorite reality show. Mm. Okay. For those who have not watched the first episode of Encore, which is crazy, mm-hmm. um, tell us about the show Encore and who's on it. Yeah, so we have nine females on the show. So eight of them are former members of girl groups, and one of them is a mm-hmm. solo act, Nivea. We all love Nivea. Don't yes, mess with my yes. Yes. Oh, that's my girl. With my Nivea. Man. Yes, get it, girl. <laughs> 25 reasons. <laughs> so can so you tell... Who's the eight girls? So she's the only solo one. So the mm-hmm. other eight... We have Keely from the Cheetah Girls, 3LW. Hold on. She coming in hot. She She is coming in hot. Because she's so messy. She coming in hot. You know, the thing is. She's good for TV. No, no, no. I don't know if it's called messy on reality. Like you said. She's good for TV. She is like, do you call it the reality show villain or like, (laughs) she's, I don't even, I don't know. Do you call it her and I think, um, what's her name? Aubrey? Aubrey from Danity Kane is on the show. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. Go through the list. But she coming in hot. Okay. okay. So we got Kaylee from 3LW, Cheetah mm-hmm. Girl. We got Aubrey O'Day from Danity Kane. We got Lamisha and Irish, who are sisters from 702, where my girl's at. Okay. We got Pam from Total. Ooh. We got the twins, Felicia and Fallon from the group Cherish. You know, do it, do it. We got that. And last but not least, we got Shamari DeVoe from Black. Oh, she was on Housewives. Atlanta Housewives. Oh, yes. So you recruited. Married to Ronnie DeVoe from New Edition BBD. Yes. Ooh. No, but I'm saying you recruited. You got the Atlanta Housewife. You brought her over. This is going to be this is going to be nice. It's a big, fun show. And. Again, their their duty for 10 episodes is to form a super group. So we're getting these women to work together for the greater good of showing whether or not women can work together to produce music. And when I tell you, ladies, it is everything. I can just about imagine with all those personalities and all those divas and all those opinions. I'm there for Keely because I know <laughs> she is her and Aubrey. Oh mm-hmm. my God, I know that. Aubrey pops so much shit on Instagram. I'm talking Ooh. about she reads the girl. She tells it all. She tells everything she knows. I don't even call her Aubrey. I call her CVS <laughs> because the way she pulls out a receipt. <laughs> And like <laughs> when she was going like during the election time and she was going at his son. I said, oh, girl, oh, girl, there is no filter. (laughs) There is no filter with her at all. But how how did you choose the nine women out of like, because it's so many, you know, it's so many girl groups out there. How do you like, how did you choose? Yeah. So as what Ming said, it's all about the personalities, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have 
a mix. It's like, it's like making a bomb ass, you know, weed brownie, although I don't smoke weed, but I had a weed brownie before. Mm-hmm. So it's all about the ingredients, about how you have to have all the perfect mixes, right? Mm. So I wanted to make sure we had the personality, but also the talent. Because think about it, to get nine women to form a super group vocally, you know, dance wise, talent, producing, writing skills, they all needed each other. It's, it's funny, someone called me a mad scientist. Mm-hmm. So like in my mad scientist brain, I wanted to make sure that they all complemented each other so that they could work together. So I wanted to make sure that was in place, but also that they also had the personality because you need your villain you need your one who can read the girls Mm -hmm. you need your straight girl but you also need america's sweetheart you need your comedian so you know we 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 got our mixes together and um baby it's a mix and and i've worked with um carlos on um some previous projects that never hit the light of day. And baby, when I tell you he's a producer, of the, he produces that shit, okay? Yeah. Tell, I, I can't wait to see if, does an album come out the deal? I don't want to spoil it for you because you have to watch the 10 episodes. Okay. okay. When you miss one episode, you miss a lot. But what I what I can say is this. I, I'll say this much. Okay. You are going to hear some bomb ass music. Okay. Okay. That's all I oh, care about. We're bringing R and B back. Oh yes. What if like okay? I know you can't tell us everything, but tell us if this is an option. Say if like one of the girls cuts a song solo that's really good. Do you still put it out, or you just have to kind of wait till it's collectively everyone? No, listen, they have their rules that is set by our host, Sita, from mm-hmm. Sita's World. So oh, Sita- my gosh. That was the best part. That was the best part. Oh, I love Sita. <laughs> it's hosted by Sita. So Sita gives the girls their rules. Mm-hmm. So you do have to abide by this sort of like rule book. But at the end of the day, when you have nine strong women, you're going to go against the grain. So... You know, to answer your question, Karen, you do see some of that occurring Mm -hmm. and that does ignite some sort of conversation. I saw like I I think it was like Shade Room or something posted like a 20 second clip of something. Right. I watched this thing like 10 times. I called Carlos so fast. (laughs) I said, Carlos, what the hell is this? I said, who is this reading like this? And he was like, you will not guess. It was of course, it was Keely. I said, oh, my God. Ooh, she reads. It, it cut deep from the phone. Because I was just like, Carlos, who is this bitch reading like this? Ooh. I'm like, because it was no, like, cut the camera, nothing. I was like, oh, this is going to be. I was like, oh, she chose violence. I think she wakes up and chooses violence every single day. Yeah, I was just like. <laughs> Karen was like, I just need to know who this is, son. Yeah, I was like, I'm not, I was, I was like, I know it's not who I think it is because just the way she said it and it's just like her tone doesn't change. It reminds me of Devil Wears Prada. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. love her. When she was like... Uh, when, Miranda when she, Priestley. Yeah, Miranda Priestley, when she talks like this and mm-hmm. she was just like... That is um, all. No, no, it wasn't a question. <laughs> She'd be like, no, no, it wasn't a question. She was like, so the group you were in sold how many? And this was before you? I was just like, oh, 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 all right. I was like, you know what? I was like, I just can't wait to the show. I was like, why would he drop this so early? Send me the, I was like, send me the link. Send me the link. 